Carlos Ruiz for Red Lab News here in South Bay, California, catching up with Federal prospect Ahmed Medina. It's good to see you back in the ring, man. You're back in action on July 27, 22nd. Talk to us about what this means to you. So I'll be fighting uh, July 22nd here in uh, the Thunder Studios in Long Beach, California with uh, Elite Promotion right. with my friend Carlos Motor. And uh, you know, I'm really thankful for the opportunity and re ready to show out my, my skills, you know, with my local fans. And that's, that's a great opportunity for everyone to come out and support. You've known Carlos for quite a while now, since your amateur days, going to, to his gym and putting in the work. Yeah. Was it was it an easy process for you to ask him, hey, let me get on your card, uh, let's get let's make a fight happen? No, um, we we reached out and you know he he's really happy to hear that we would we would like to fight in that card and okay. and yeah, we're really thankful. All right. It's been a, a little bit over a year since your last fight. Were you anxious to get a? Was it hard for you to be getting a fight? No, no. Time? My last fight was in end of February, beginning of March, uh, February twenty eighth. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're talking about boxing, man. It's a yeah, little they haven't updated my fight. <laughs> so when was the last fight? Where is it that you? February twenty eighth, March first or February twenty eighth. One of those two days was my last. You my fought last in fight. Mexico. Yeah. You fought. Yeah, there. it was in Mazatlan. Yeah. Okay. How did you do? Yeah, uh, first round, knockout. Okay. Alright. You've been follow you've been having a big Nicaraguan fan base yes. following your sister Seth and yours as well. Yes, yes. Uh, how, how does that make you feel? Like there's there's a big interest of, of someone of Nicaraguan descent making noise here in, in the Los Angeles. Uh, I'm really happy, you know. Uh, my name is starting to get noticed, you know, by the, the our roots, our roots and you know uh, I'm ready to show out, man. I'm ready to show out and show these Nicaragua fans that what I got, okay. and I'll be, I'll be for sure on the next superstar for Nicaragua. Okay, you've you've said that I've, I've seen an interview in Spanish like you did recently, saying how proud you were of your Nicaraguan roots and, and what it means for you to represent your Nicaraguan yes, people. I'm really happy, you know. Um, the females one uh, uh, Hondureño, you know? yes. And and look, look at him, you know, he showed out and showed how how Honduras is, you know. Right. So now now why 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 can't we do the same thing? Okay. You know? There you go. Um, that's our goal. Show out. And uh, hopefully, you know, God willing, we get to that level and okay. we, and Nicaragua has the next superstar. All right. Tell us, because I know you got the the picture ready. Tell us your experience, the time you made your idol. Nicaraguan super uh, star, boxing star, Romano Chocolatito Gonzalez. T tell us what that experience was. Well, like. I was able to go to his last fight uh, with Gallo Estrada in Arizona. It was, it was a yes. Phoenix? Yes. Phoenix, Arizona. And after the fight, you know, that following morning, I got to run in. I ran into him. Who in the made lobby. the contact for you to meet him? Oh, Estrellita. Okay, Estrellita. there you go. Yeah, it right. was Estrellita. And so, what did, what did Estrellita say? I mean, I got he, some news for you. Yeah, he just got some news and took me to the lobby and he was right there with Caballero. Okay. And then... Uh, ¿Qué te dijo el jodido de Caballero? Maje, you know. Él es el que me introdució a okay. Chocolatito. Y ahí, jodido, vení. Vení, jodido. Que te conozca Choco. Eh. And you know, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a beautiful moment. Okay. Finally get someone I was looking, looking up to, you know, on my whole, my whole amateur career, yeah. you know, my pro career. Because he's a great name, you know? He's got a lot of From Alexis Arreo, Chocolatito, and the, the um, what's his name? I can't, I can't, I can't bring Rosendo. it up. Rosendo. Rosendo, yeah. you know? But huge superstar that Nicaragua had, you know? Okay. And these are inspiration and people I look up to. So I can get there, you know, one day, you know? And, and someday some kid from Nicaragua gets to look up to me, you know? It was just a beautiful moment, you know? Yeah. I've had the opportunity, the privilege of interviewing uh, Choco several times and never changed. He's always the same quiet, humble, uh, respectful man. Did he show the same thing to you when you met him? Yeah, he showed. He's, he's an amazing person, man. Okay. Humble, amazing. You know, his character. It, it makes me even look up to him even more. You, know? you want to share that picture? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah. So were you anxious? Or you, let me see. <laughs> Look, the time a man met his idol, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Okay, so, so describe to me what the moment was like. Uh, this right. 
All right. <laughs> so I'm sure you were you were sad, you were disappointed at the time he lost. Yeah. Uh, how did he take? How did how did the champ look after that? He looked amazing, man, in the in the fight. Uh, it, it hurt, but I know the the person he is, and he's gonna come back and and show out. You know, okay. show out. He'll, he'll be once again world champion. Okay, let's talk about July 22nd, Long Beach, California. Your upcoming fight. What makes Ahmed Medina a such exciting young fighter? Do you know you have yeah. it? First of all, you know, I have, you know it. I have all right. it, and um, you don't want to miss it. You know, okay. uh, I know I have it, and I want all the people to come out and support. So I'm gonna show out. I'm gonna show out. It's just something that you guys, you guys have to witness. Okay. Uh, you guys have to witness, and, and I'm glad that I'll be able to do it local, locally, and, and have all my local fans come out. There you go. Coach Manny has been very vocal about how talented you are, and he says great things in your young career. Is that, is that something you take seriously? Is that something you take very uh, good pride of? Um, Knowing yes. that all these people have all these nice things to say, but you still gotta go out there and perform? Yes, yes. Um, you know, I'm, it really means a lot uh, hearing that from the coach. I'm just gonna keep listening to him. He's gonna guide me, and I know um, everything God has is gonna fall into place and, and be good. If I keep it, I'm, I'll, he, he's gonna lead me, and God's gonna give him the faith, and he's gonna lead me the way, and yeah. Listen. Yes. Voy a cerrar esta entrevista ahora en español. Sí, sí. Decirle a tu gente nicaragüense por qué sos tan bueno y que vas a dar el nombre, le vas a dar orgullo a tus raíces nicaragüenses peleando, demostrando que vas a ser el próximo campeón mundial nicaragüense. Eh, pelea por pelea que, que tenga, van a ver que, que traigo. Voy a seguir entrenando y, en, y enseñándole en cada pelea que, que lo que traigo. Traigo, traigo, traigo mucho eh, para enseñar y, y en cada pelea no es lo, no es lo mismo, pero vamos por la misma meta, por la misma meta y cada pelea o sea, nos vamos a llegar a esa meta para ser campeón mundial. Vamos a ser campeón, vamos a ser campeón. <risa> Nicaragua va a tener otro campeón. Ok, mira, dos promotores que promueven allá el boxeo, René Alvarado, ex campeón y la gran leyenda Rosendo Álvarez. Andale. Este mensaje va para ellos, si alguna vez tienen un espacio para vos. Creo que te aceptarían con sí, el paso abierto. Sí, me encantaría, me encantaría tener una oportunidad y para que la, la, la gente me, me vea y me conozca y que, y que miren que hay un prospecto nicaragüense que, que viene subiendo y, y que en el futuro van a tener un nuevo campeón. Okay, muchas gracias, ahí lo tienen. Amén Medina, próxima pelea, julio 22 en Long Beach, California. Muchas gracias. Wow, ustedes.